Hey everybody, Justin with Lucky 8 Off-Road and today I'm going to show you how to install our air compressor strut mount bracket with an ARB air compressor. So grab a seat and enjoy the show. First thing you need to do is mount the compressor to the base plate. Take a look at the base plate, there's this little kick in it. That goes up. The compressor can mount two ways. You want the wires going towards that little notch. So loosely mount that on and we'll move to the next step. A little tip. You wanna find these bolts, these carriage bolts. And you kinda of loosely wiggle them in before you set them on the plate. You'll do all four, and then you can loosely align them right to that plate. With the compressor mounted to the plate, you should have a little bit of wiggle room in the plate in case you have to adjust it. We're going to align this mounting point, this hole right here, to this hole on the strut. So what I do is gently wiggle this compressor in and align it with the hole. Bingo. Make sure that the compressor isn't falling out anywhere. It's not touching the strut. It's not hitting any accessories or equipment on the vehicle. We know it's in a good position. I'm gonna pull it back out and tighten the compressor down. Now we know everything's good to go. Just a reminder, tighten down the air compressor to the lower plate and we'll move to the next step. Next up is the wiring harness. ARB supplies you with a harness that can run lockers and do all kinds of great things. For this installation, I'm only concerned about running the compressor to the switch. So I'm gonna take this wiring harness, strip it down and get out the wires that I need. Depending on what you're doing with it, you may want the wiring harness complete. So that's gonna be up to you. With the wiring harness massaged to your liking, you need to install the filter and the pressure switch. Pressure switch goes here. One thing I like to do is loosen up this 10 mil on the top of the compressor. It will allow you to move the pressure sensor to where you need it and then our access reports that we're going to use later. So I leave that a little bit loose. Then it is time for the switch plate. We're just going to slide the compressor harness through the hole in the switch plate and align the bracket there. You're pretty much ready to go into the engine bay, so let's go into the engine bay. Pretty easy, just drop it in through that little hole. Now we have to get the nut on the bottom. If you look through the front fender well, you'll see the bolt next to the air strut coming through that little hole. So we're gonna reach up in there, put the nut on it, and tighten it down. Okay, with the lower bolt done, next thing to do is put the bolt for the switch housing right here. I leave this loose, do all my wiring, drop the switch in, and then tighten it up. Because like I said before, if you need to, this bracket will come off, allow you to access the uh, wiring. Okay, quick recap on how we're putting this together. Quick release at the top, adapter piece in the middle, pressure switch also to the middle. So what I do is you can see I offset it a little bit. It'll lay down in this area. It'll be away from the strut tower and allow you to still access the quick fitting. You can put it any which way you want. I just like the wires tucked out of the way. So when you stand back, it looks a little bit cleaner. When you've got everything where you want it to be, take your 10 millimeter wrench and tighten down the outer bolt to secure everything in this area.
Pay special attention that this quick fitting is not higher than the plastic area around it or else you will smash the hood when you close. Well, there you have it. It wasn't too big of a job. If you have a friend to help you, make your life much easier. Uh, that's all I got for today. And on that, I'll see you on the next one.